world has witnessed three periods of man's development. The Stone Age, the Bronze Age, and the Iron Age. The Stone Age began millions of years ago when man started using flint for weapons and tools. Gradually, his understanding broadened, and in the second millennium BC, early man mixed tin and copper to produce bronze which then replaced stone as a working material. Then came the Iron Age. It was to transform history and climaxed in the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century. Whether or not history will label the 20th century as the Plastics Age remains to be seen. It is certainly the period that has seen the development of man-made non-metallic materials and the growth of a whole new technology. Indeed, there are few products made today that do not use plastics. On the industrial scene, there is a wide range of plastics specially developed to bring new benefits to engineering applications. Applications where no traditional material is suitable or where existing materials can be advantageously replaced. In this program, we'd like to explore our extensive range of Tufnell industrial laminates and show you just why we are in the forefront of today's plastics age. It all began back in 1924 when, as a result of a positive program of research and development, Tufnell laminates were first produced. Since those early pioneering days, we have developed a range of industrial laminates that has continuously kept abreast of technology. These materials are now the most widely used and firmly established group of engineering plastics, meeting challenges and demands from all industries. Let's take a brief look at how these laminates are made. Initially, a roll of reinforcing material, such as paper, or fabrics woven from cotton or glass fibers, is impregnated with a solution of thermosetting resin, phenolic, epoxide, or polyimide. It is then fed through squeeze rolls, which accurately control the resin content of the reinforcement. Regular checks are made to ensure consistent quality. The impregnated material is then dried to a semi-cured state guillotined into 1200 millimeter squares, inspected and assembled into packs depending upon the thickness of sheet required. The packs are then stacked between stainless steel plates and pressed at high temperature and pressure. Whilst in the press, the semi-cured resin softens, flows and sets, consolidating the layers into a rigid material that no amount of further heating will soften again. Using this process, sheets of various thickness can be made ranging from 0.4 millimeters up to 230 millimeters. Alternatively, the impregnated material is rolled into rods or tubes, both round and rectangular, which in turn can be used for the production of a wide range of other standard forms. Finished components are produced by the machining method, using the most appropriate standard form. It is the fast, versatile, cost-effective way to produce engineering plastics components. In addition to round tubes produced by high-pressure molding, we also manufacture a low-cost range of tubes produced by tightly rolling the impregnated paper or fabric onto a mandrel and curing in a heated oven. No mold is used and tubes up to 600 mm diameter can be produced by this method. We have a reputation for high quality standards. All grades are manufactured to comply with the relevant British standard specification and our quality assurance organization is approved by the Ministry of Defence under Defence Standard 0524. We have similar approvals from the Civil Aviation Authority, UK AEA, and many large industrial companies whose supplier quality assurance schemes we implement. Today, there are five groups and over 20 grades of Tufnell laminates, each featuring unique characteristics. 
On the screen, you can see many characteristics and properties that are associated with these grades. It is the skillful combination of reinforcement with resin that enables us to produce more than 20 different grades. All readily machinable into finished components and each with its own unique combination of these properties. In short, engineering versatility. Let's show you what we mean by looking at the first of the five groups. Paper-based phenolic. There are five grades in this group. They are mainly intended for electrical insulating purposes and are generally lower in price than grades in other groups. These materials are all produced to British standards. As well as electrical applications, the low-cost commercial grade 1P13 is often used for light mechanical duties such as jigs and fixtures. The superior materials, Kite and Heron brands, are widely used in high voltage applications. Heron brand has particularly good resistance to humid conditions. It is our Kite brand that is helping turn wind into power. In this high-tech application, a large kite brand alternator ring, three foot in diameter, is playing a vital part in providing an alternative source of electrical energy. In the communications world, in electrical generation, and on the railways, our paper-based phenolic grades are in constant demand. Our second group of materials is the cotton fabric phenolic grades. Essentially, these are the mechanical grades of Tufnel. There are eight in all, their individual characteristics being largely determined by the weave of fabric used. The finer weave grades, carp and lynx brands, offer good electrical properties, high dimensional stability in moist atmospheres, and, since they can be machined with close tolerances, they lend themselves well to the production of high-quality components with intricate features. Vol, Whale and Crow brands are the medium and coarse weave grades. They are more impact resistant, therefore better suited to applications involving higher shock loads. The medium weave brands are Vol and Whale. Whale brand, offering a most useful balance of properties at an economical price, is now widely regarded as the general purpose grade, the workhorse of the group. Crow brand is the coarsest weave grade. It features high impact strength, making it suitable for use where shock loading is involved, such as a cushion in the driving helmet of a pile driver. The remaining three grades in this group are those that have been fine-tuned for special purposes. Firstly, grade 2F14, developed to give improved electrical properties whilst retaining good mechanical strength. It is ideal for slot wedges in giant generators. Secondly, grade 2F3 PTFE, is a laminate with its own built-in lubricant in the form of PTFE. It is ideal for situations where external lubrication is either not desirable or not possible. Typical uses are slide bearing pads and bogey pivot discs on railway coaches. Finally, the last grade in this group, Bear Brand, was developed as a bearing material for use with water and other common lubricants. It is capable of operating in heavy duty and arduous conditions. In offshore engineering, it is used for pipeline bearing pads and other similar applications. In ocean going ships, it is used for stern tube and rudder bearings. We're even helping the QE2 sail the seven seas. Bear Brand Tufnel is approved by the world's leading maritime classification societies for use as a bearing material. The cotton fabric grades of Tufnel laminates are widely used where ruggedness and wear resistance are required, frequently outlasting by many times the working life of more traditional materials previously used. 
our third distinct group of materials is the asbestos-based phenolic grades. There are two grades, ASP and ADA brands. They are put to similar uses as our paper and cotton fabric phenolic grades, but offer enhanced temperature resistance properties. Whereas the paper and cotton fabric materials have maximum continuous working temperatures of 90 and 120 degrees Celsius respectively, the asbestos reinforced grades can operate continuously at temperatures as high as 165 degrees and for intermittent use as high as 185 degrees Celsius. This greater heat resistance is achieved at the expense of electrical properties and therefore both grades are normally restricted to low and medium voltage applications. In addition to its greater heat resistance, Ada brand has excellent toughness and wear resistance. It is frequently used for bearing and compressor blade applications. Also, it has particularly good chemical resistance. These, then, are the phenolic grades of Tufnel, the general-purpose materials, well-used and well-proven in countless applications the world over. Our remaining two groups comprise the higher-performance materials using more sophisticated resin systems and, in some cases, utilizing woven glass cloth as the reinforcement. The first of these groups uses a modified epoxide resin system with very high quality paper and cotton fabric reinforcements. Whilst epoxide resin on its own provides superior electrical properties, we have modified the system to give additional resistance to surface tracking. Grade 2P45 is made with a superior pure craft paper and is used in the electrical industry where top grade insulation is required. For example, by the CEGB in power station maintenance. Tufnell grade 6F45 uses a fine weave cotton fabric. It has been said that it is the ultimate in cotton fabric laminates. Combining, as it does, the strength and wear resistance of the fine weave phenolic grades with exceptionally high dimensional stability, excellent electrical properties, and improved temperature resistance. This grade literally flies our flag every time Concorde takes off. The window edge supports and fuel pipe clamps in Concorde and many other aircraft are made from grade 6F45. Its versatility is seemingly endless. From aircraft, to aerospace, from insulation to communication. This material is also widely used in defense projects for sophisticated applications of which we are proud but about which the Ministry would rather we didn't talk. So let's move on to our fifth and final group of materials. Glass mat and woven glass laminates. There are 10 different grades. Within this group, the glass mats polyester grades are the low-cost general-purpose materials. Labeled Tufnel grades PGM 1 to 4, they are intermediate in both price and performance between the modified epoxide grades and the high-performance woven glass fabric ones. These materials are widely used in the electrical industry in applications where good electrical insulation is required at temperatures up to 155 degrees Celsius, such as arc control chambers and phase barriers in circuit breakers. The first of the woven glass fabric materials is Tufnel Grade 10G16. Using a phenolic resin, this grade has good electrical insulation properties, high mechanical strength, low water absorption and a working temperature range approaching that of the asbestos grades. In short, it is a general purpose, low-cost woven glass fabric laminate. The next four grades are truly high-performance materials. Combining woven glass fabric with epoxide resin, 
These grades have superior electrical and mechanical properties, high dimensional stability, and a working temperature range up to 155 degrees Celsius. The difference between each of the grades relates largely to their controlled fire properties and their improved retention of mechanical characteristics at higher temperatures. They are widely used in equipment where high performance and utmost reliability are a prerequisite. Finally, we come to Tufnell Grade 6G91. When this grade was introduced some years ago, it effectively shattered the temperature barrier for rigid engineering plastics. It retains excellent property levels in working temperatures up to 300 degrees Celsius. A very strong material, it has excellent mechanical and electrical properties, which combined with its exceptionally high temperature resistance, enables it to perform in applications previously beyond the reach of plastics. Today, the various grades that form our glass mat and woven glass group of materials can be found in the branches of engineering that are at the forefront of technological development. Aerospace, defense, electronic, electrical, on the land, in the sea, and in the air. This completes our brief look at the wide range of Tufnell industrial laminates. Five groups and over 20 grades, each featuring unique characteristics. A comprehensive, versatile and proven range. You have seen just how a range of materials that is new to this century has kept pace with dramatic advances in engineering demands. Tufnell is meeting these demands, meeting the challenges of this new age and is looking forward to the future with confidence. A confidence that comes from over 60 years of developing and refining our range of industrial laminates. Plastics for engineering from Tufnell.